The Needham Rockets travel to Walpole on Tuesday to take on the Rebels in a matchup between two of the best teams in the Bay State Conference and two of the best attacking players in the state. One of them, Kyle Gilbert, scored his second of the evening here to give Walpole an early 2-0 lead. The other, Will Stenberg, scores one at the other end to bring Needham within a goal. Moments later, Nico Panapinto drives to the net and scores to tie the game at three after one. Second quarter, Walpole on the attack. Nick Foley scores his second of the game, tying the score at five. And it stayed tied heading into halftime thanks to a tremendous effort from Needham goalie Lucas Davis who gets pushed over fielding the loose ball. No call, Walpole swings it around, Austin Nadeau shoots, but Davis recovers in time for the save and it's 5-5 headed into halftime. Ahead to the third, Gilbert scores three unanswered goals to open the quarter and he scores this one from his backside to make it 8-5 Walpole. But Stenberg then scores back-to-back -back goals himself, this one making him the first Needham player to reach the 400 point mark for his career, but it's still 8-7 Walpole after three. Late in the fourth, we're tied at nine. Panapinto finds Mark Riley in front and the Rockets take a one goal lead. Under a minute to play now, Gilbert scores his game high seventh goal and it ties the game at 11. But Needham responds with just seven seconds left. Here's Mike Riley with the call. Gun there, Will Stenberg. Let's see if he can do anything. Cutter, goal! Seven seconds remaining and Cutter gives Needham a 12-11 lead. 12-11 Needham, they win in dramatic fashion. Stenberg gets his 400th point and we caught up with him and Davis Cutter the next day at practice. Davis, you guys had a big win last night at Walpole. Walk us through that goal. Uh, well, Will made a great dodge. Um, you know, the play was really set up for him, but um, you know, he made a great look to me and you know, I, I finished uh, and we won, so happy about it. You know, the play was for me to draw the double team and give it to uh, Robbie Pisano, but you know, I rolled back so I didn't beat him initially and I found Davis and you know, he, uh, he was shooting all game, you know, he was getting a little frustrated, but I mean, when we needed him, he came through, so it was a very big, very big shot. Will, you scored your 400th point last night. I know you don't like talking about personal achievements, but you did it. So what's it like for you personally and for the program? I mean, for the program, it's nice because now they can say they have a 400 point player. But I mean, now, you know, just focusing on the next game. I'm sure 20 years from now, I'll look back and it'll be something special. But I mean, as for now, it's the one goal is to uh, make it to the playoffs and win the state championship. Davis, what kind of momentum will last night's win give your team heading down the final stretch here and into the postseason? Uh, last night's win was absolutely huge. Um, you know, it hopefully puts up it puts us in a good position for a good seed and uh, to do some damage in the playoffs. The girls were also taking on Walpole. Will's younger sister Maddie Stenberg got the scoring started, her 50th point of the season, and it's one to nothing Rockets. Later in the first half, Shelby Ovin shows off some fancy footwork and runs around three Walpole players before scoring Needham's third goal. Aubin this time the provider with a nice pass to Tory Waldstein and the junior makes it 5-2 Needham. And the Rockets take a five goal lead late in the first half. Taylor Thomas running by the Walpole defense and Needham cruises to a 16-9 victory. They are now 11-2 on the season and have won five in a row since losing to Westwood and Wellesley. Yeah, the team has been feeling really good. Um, we came into the season with really great chemistry, um, and obviously those two losses were really tough for us, but we've really learned from them, and I think that those are going to really help us when we get to tournament. So we're feeling pretty good. Um, you know, every team kind of needs to lose like at least a game to really learn what you guys need to work on, and we definitely have been working on it. We're feeling really good. I mean, I love the team, and it's really been a fun year so far. So. We've been feeling good. I think we've been working really well together. Um, I would say that's the main thing with this team is we have re really great chemistry, as Taylor said, and um, we're all just really good friends, so it helps on the field to just kind of move things along. And uh, we did not like to lose, especially two games in a row, and especially to Westwood and Wellesley. So those are hard games for us, and I think it just kind of made us get hungry again for to keep winning, and we've been doing pretty well since then. So um, hopefully we just keep that fire going into the tournament. Three of the Needham girls, Tori Wallstein, Shelby Aubin and freshman Catherine Conley have made a Southern New England All-Star team that will be traveling to Maryland Memorial Day weekend to take on the nation's best. We were nominated and we went to the first tryout and you get called back and they 
put you in more of a game like scenario where you play and and then we we got chosen so there's and they split us up into five teams so there's Shelby and I are on team one and um, Catherine's on team five so we'll go down Memorial Day weekend and play. It's really exciting. It's an amazing opportunity. Like we're really gonna play with the best players in the country. So I'm really excited to go down there and be on this team. Leaving your high school team during the season can be tough, but the girls are excited for the challenge. I'm looking forward to like playing with a bunch of different girls and hopefully we can we haven't ever practiced together. We've just played a little bit together at the tryouts, so hopefully we'll be able to come together as a team and um, and uh, play really well. It's going to be difficult to play as a team because we've never really played together before, but I think just playing as much as we can like a team and playing at the top level as we can because like the better other states are normally better and so I think like in past years we haven't done as well against them so I think just getting as many ones as possible and keeping up with them. For Needham Channel Sports, I'm James Walsh.